Opinionators. Hello, boys and girls. So, this week we've been working on our opinion writing mechanics. And we're working on making our stories easy to read so that if someone picks it up, they know what it says and they don't have to say, what does it say? They'll know right away what it says, okay? And guess what? Something else I've noticed in your writing, and I'm sure your teacher has noticed in your writing too, that sometimes we get really busy and we forget that the letters need to touch certain lines. Have you ever done that? I definitely have. Like, I've been in a rush and I just write and write and write. And guess what? My letters don't touch the lines. Uh-oh. That's really important because if you don't take your time with your letters, guess what? Someone might not know what you're trying to write. So it's really important. For example, the letter G. Does anyone know what line the letter G is really supposed to touch? Our special worm line, remember? Sometimes when we write, we're in a rush and we don't remember that, okay? Or like the letter T. What line does the letter T start at? Yeah, it starts all the way up at the skyline. And sometimes we forget that, okay? So today, we're gonna practice writing these letters and make sure that they touch the correct lines. So what I want you to get out is I want you to get out your dry erase board, okay? Hopefully you still have this at home where it has the sky, the plane, and the grass, and the worm. And then you're gonna get out a dry erase marker, okay? So go ahead and pause the video and get those materials and come back. All right. So for the purpose of our video today and for our lesson, we are going to use all lowercase letters for our words, okay? So not uppercase, all lowercase. So when I say a letter, I want you to write the, how it looks as a lowercase letter. Okay, so we're gonna start out with the letter A, apple, A. Ah. A, apple, A. Ah. So when we're writing, I want you to think about what line A, apple, A ah needs to start at. Do you know? Yeah, it starts at the plane line. Okay, so at the plane line, we make a small curve all the way to grass line, okay? And then we go back up to plane line and we pull all the way down to the grass line. A, apple, A. Ah. Good job. All right, erase. The next letter I want you to work on is the letter G, game, G. Ooh, which line does it start at? Good, it starts at the plane line. Which line does it end at? It ends at the grass line, or I'm sorry, the worm line, the special worm line. Okay, so we're gonna start the grass, start the plane, make a small curve to the grass, and then we're gonna go back up to the plane, and then we come all the way down to worm line and we give it a little hook. G, game, G. Very good. Okay, erase. The next letter I want is M, man mm. what line does it start at what line does it end at very good it's going to start at the plane and it's going to end at the grass so for m we start at the plane we pull down to the grass we go up 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 to the plane and we give it a hump and then we go up 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 back to the plane and we give it another hump m man mm. Excellent. Erase. The next letter I want you to work on is T top T. Ooh, what line does T top T begin at? Very good. It's going to begin at the skyline. A lot of you guys forget that. Start at the sky, go down to the grass, and then you're going to cross the plane. T top T. Excellent. The next letter we're gonna work on is N, nut, N. N, nut, N. What letter, do, I'm sorry, what line does it start at? Good, what line does it end at? So it's gonna start at the plane, and it's gonna come down to the grass. We travel back up to the plane, and we give it a hump down to the grass. N, nut, N. Great job. The next letter we're going to work on is the letter D, D, dog, D. Ooh, this is a tricky one. What line does D touch? 
oh my goodness, it does touch the sky. It doesn't begin at the sky, but it does touch the sky. So to make the letter D, it actually starts at the plane line, and you're gonna give a small curve to the grass line, and then we go up, 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 up to the sky, and then we pull all the way back down to the grass. D, dog, D. Excellent job, boys and girls. Nice work with your letters today. So we are gonna be looking for those neatly written letters, okay? So when you send a picture of your work to your teacher, we're gonna be looking at that. So make sure you're doing your very best job, okay? So today for writing, we're gonna write a story about what is our favorite thing to do at the park. Okay, it's starting to get really nice outside. It's gonna be spring soon, and hopefully we'll get to be able to go outside more okay so i want you to think about what when you go to a park what do you like playing on the most do you like playing on the monkey bars do you like going down the slide do you like to play on the swings do you like to play tag with friends so we're gonna write about that okay so i need you to get out your piece of writing paper and a pencil and we're gonna do some shared writing together and then you guys will also be asked to work a little independently on your writing. Okay, so here are your materials. Make sure you pause and get pause and go get those if needed. All right, let's get started. So we're going to say, I like to play on the, and then whichever thing you like to play on the most. Okay, so we're going to do I, and remember it's an uppercase. Oh, and look, it started at the sky and it ended all the way at the grass. So make sure you're hitting those lines and using neat handwriting. And then we're gonna use a meatball in between I and our next word, like, like. Okay, so on your paper you should have I like. And look, make sure your letters are touching the right lines on your paper, okay? Then we have another meatball, and we're gonna write the sight word two. If you don't know how to spell the sight word two, where could you look at? Very good, you can look on your sight word page. It's under the letter T, okay? So two is T-O. Make sure it's touching the correct lines. I like to, and then we have another meatball space, play. Ooh, play is another sight word. How do we spell it? P-L-A-Y. Oh, look at my word play. Look, the P and the Y touched worm line. Make sure in your writing that you're touching those too. I like to play, and then we have a space, and we're gonna write the word on. It's another sight word. I like to play on, okay. And then we have another sight word. Oh my goodness, this sentence is made up of so many sight words. But look, I don't think I'm gonna have enough room, so I'm gonna swoop over to write my word, the. Okay, another sight word, the. And then here is where we will do our independent writing, and you will write whatever you like to play on, okay? So I like to play on the monkey bars, or I like to play on the slide. When I go to the park, I like to play on the slide. So I'm gonna tap out the word slide. So make sure you tap out at home what is your favorite thing to play on at the park, okay? I like to play on the slide, and then I'm gonna put a space, and I'm gonna write the word at. So after you have written your word, you're gonna write the word at. Let's tap out the word at, at. Ooh, that's two sounds. At. So we know we need an a, which is a, and a t. At, and then we would have a space, meatball space, and we'd write the word the again. Make sure that you're using the correct lines when you're writing your words. A lot of friends, they start out their um, sentences really good, really neat handwriting, and then as the sentence gets longer, it starts to get sloppier. So make sure you're using Really neat handwriting, okay? I like to play on the slide at the, and then we have another meatball space, and we're gonna write the word park. All 
All right, and here's how we spell the word park. P ark, park. Great job. Then what you're gonna do at home, opinionators, is you're gonna give me two reasons that you like to play on the slide the most at the park, okay? So maybe you said a slide. Well, when I think about a slide, what I like the most about it is I can go down fast. What I also like about it is I can hide in a tunnel slide. Maybe you said that you like to play on the swings at the park. So you can say, I can go high on the swings. And another reason would be, um, I like to jump off the swings. Okay, so we need two reasons to support which one is your favorite, which activity is your favorite to do at the park. All right, guys, I can't wait to see your writing and we'll see you tomorrow.